Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today I've gotten offered a Latte Panda, which I have received to see if I can actually do anything useful with it. Now this comes in many different flavors. You have some come with Windows and some come without Windows 10. And it has a built-in Arduino, which is really crazy. So basically the Arduino is connected directly on one of the COM ports which means you can do quite a lot of things with it because now you just have a mobile PC with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity. You can even install 3G connectivity with a USB dongle. It does work with the Raspberry Pi camera. I mean, I can go on forever. It does a lot of things. But now what I wanted to do today is I wanted to do a couple things. One, I wanted to see how good it was with a LiDAR. So for future projects, because I'm doing a lot of AI stuff in the background. And also I wanted to install Unity Engine. Now you might be like, what is Unity Engine? Now everybody does benchmarks, but I don't think there's a true benchmark like running a full Unity uh, Engine editor. Now Unity Engine is used to create games such as PUBG and all these types of things. So I wanted to run the Unity Engine editor on this, see if it'll run, run one of the games like the tutorial games or something and see how well that handles. But then, I want to also take it one more step, which we're going to see in a bit, which is run the Unity Engine editor, create the game, and have an AI learn to play the game. So we're going to be training an AI or a machine learning algorithm to play that game. And I wanted to see how it can handle all this. Can it really handle all this? Or is it just going to crash and die on us? All right, so right now we're in the Latte Panda. And when you first receive this and you open it, what you're going to find is it's really, really slow. And the reason for that is the Windows update is going to try to take full advantage of that moment to do all types of updates and downloads. And at the same time, your antivirus uh, will just start running and it'll just make everything super slow. So what I highly recommend you do is you first disable your Windows update and also disable your antivirus. I know it's not a good idea to disable your antivirus, but... If you need the resources, that's what I'd recommend doing. Right now, it just enabled itself again, but we're just going to let that pass. All right, so now what we're going to do is going to open Unity Engine. Now, this can take anywhere between a minute to around three minutes to open, but it does open, and we can actually preview a game and modify a game. Now, 3D games obviously will be more intensive, but 2D games are going to be much simpler and easier to run, and it can handle it pretty decently. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into the ML Agents projects, which is Unity's machine learning project for AI. We're going to choose one of the games. We're going to compile it, export it, and start training our AI on it. So as you can tell, Unity Engine just opened up. And what I want to do is I want to find the soccer game so I could train. So we're just going to find these examples. Later on, we'll, be, we'll dig in a lot deeper than this. So here is our current soccer game, and now I'm just going to do the modifications needed in order to export this game so we can teach our own AI to uh, to control this. So there we go. We're just going to need those controls. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and build it. So as you can tell, we got build settings, PC, Mac, and Linux, and we're going to set it to development build. Now, what I've noticed with this is that you can use it for small prototyping of AIs if you didn't want to use your main PC to keep training. You can have this thing running off on the side, but obviously I do highly recommend you add some proper cooling to it. It'll run a lot better and much smoother and you won't run the risk of throttling the CPU, which means if it gets to a certain temperature, then the CPU temp, this is real time by the way, uh, I just compiled that real time. Uh, so it won't throttle your CPU because if your temperature gets high, then the CPU starts uh, slowing down so it doesn't fry itself basically, which is a really nice thing. So right now here we have the Unity environment. Now let's go ahead and prepare the AI. So, okay, now we want to go ahead and yes, we'll just save it. All right, now I'm going to prepare everything in order for us to run the AI here. So we're going to call a couple programs. I'm actually quite surprised with the programs it was able to uh, use here. Uh, what, what, Cause I had to download quite a lot of, I had to download quite a few things here. So we're going to call our little command prompt. Activate ML agents. So we're just activating our environment. All right, so now we run the command and let's wait for it to load and start training. There we go. Now it's loaded the config file. We can see the loading on the mouse. Watch the CPU. Okay, awesome. 
So it's actually training two AIs in there, but it has like many duplications of itself inside. So as you can tell, the AI now is actually training. Now you can tell that the frame rate isn't the greatest, but that's totally fine. It's because obviously it's a small PC and we are running eight soccer fields at the same time. So if we drop that down to two soccer fields, we should get better frame rate. However, you have to take something into consideration is that when we actually train these on a larger PC, we reduce the resolution down to 80 by 80 to get the most out of even our large PCs. However, what I wanted to do is keep it pretty big so you guys can get an idea of what's really going on. And it, I think it's it's actually pretty amazing that it's it's even doing this. Um, we have eight fields, two AI, not one AI training, there's two AI trainings. And that pause is, uh, for example, it just got a bunch of information and it's learning from that information, which is absolutely normal. It even, have, it even does have, oh, we just have one who just made a goal. That is awesome. So there we go. And now they're just going to practice and learn. So yeah, it's, it, it's actually quite remarkable how, how this thing handles. Yes, it's not the fastest, but as you can tell, I'm able to run this. And since booting it up, it took me around 15 minutes to get everything up and running. That's if you know what the hell you're doing. But as you can tell, it, it, this thing is capable of a lot more. Now, if I were to put Linux on this, I would be running even a lot faster. And well, it does run unity it does run unity editor it is actually training two ai's at the same time with eight fields going on and um as you can tell that's a pretty capable board in my opinion um i think this is the best way to put it into perspective of how well this thing can handle and you could check the cpu usage up in the right corner at 76 percent everything is being done on the cpu here and it is it's 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 really nice and I do highly recommend if you're going to be doing this to get the 4 gig version if you go lower it might not be as fluid as my experience here and this is the reason why I went for the 4 gig because I knew I'm going to be using a lot of RAM especially for training uh, purposes here like a really nice use case for this is what I'm going to be using it for for example is I have a project in my mind I'll make a small scale version I'll have that thing run for a week probably training whatever it could be and see how well it's doing and then once I'm ready I can just uh, uh, bring up the scale and bring it on my larger PC this way I reduce a lot of power consumption and um, I free up my bigger PC to do other more important things so this board is absolutely capable of a lot of things I'm just barely scratching the surface we'll be coming back later on to this once I install Linux and I do highly recommend you guys check out the sponsor of the video which is the F robot they were the ones that provided this for me and we're gonna have a lot more projects upcoming on the way and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope it helped someone make a purchase out there and I'll see you in the next one peace out guys